The IRS is implementing new tax provisions. According to a new IRS report this week, the Treasury Inspector General has given us updates on the latest tax provisions being implemented as related to the Inflation Reduction Act. During early 2023, or at least the first half of 2023, roughly 20 of the 36 provisions provided for in the Inflation Reduction Act were implemented. So what that means is the IRS has another 16 to go, and they are hoping to put this in place before the next filing season. Now, we've talked about this before, but... I'm not convinced that legislators really understand tax law and how it works together on the tax form because it's no secret over the years that, you know, Congress will legislate something and then as it gets rolled out and carried out through the tax system, it's a debacle. Just an example of which is included in one of these provisions, a particular tax form, Form 720, has all kinds of mistakes in it as related to excise taxes. And how does that happen? So you might say the IRS needs to make revisions to the provisions from Congress. Because even though Congress legislates our laws, they don't really understand tax laws. Not like the IRS does. So on top of all these changes, IRS is also working on revising 71 tax products in relation to these provisions. And in addition, they are modifying 78 electronic filing business rules. What does all this mean for us? Well, it means that the Inflation Reduction Act is going to have a huge trickle-down effect on both taxpayers and tax professionals. Put your seatbelt on, it's coming. For the full article, see the link in description. And folks, for daily IRS updates, tax tips, and everything small business, mash that like button, share, and follow. And if you yourself are looking to save thousands of dollars on your small business taxation, head over to myfavoritecpa.com or send me a DM today.